Hello, this is James Gardner, the Senior Tech Geek. In today's video, I wanted to go over the layman's, you know, in layman's terms, how screen gain works, and specifically in the arena of 3D and silver screens, and how it affects the quality of silver screens. Now, the main reason I want to do this today is because I wanted to bring to your, your attention uh, some developments in, in Europe and France that. Uh, uh, there's a, a com uh, quality committee there that has uh, dictated that uh, in five years they're proposing that silver screens be no longer be used in 3D or at, in cinema at all in France. Now the reason for this is a quality based issue and I'm going to go over screen gain and how silver screens affect quality in the, in the auditorium specifically with 3D today. So let's get on to that and uh, we'll have a, have a look at that. So here we go. This is typically uh, how a 2D um, screen works. Uh, generally you can get screens which have more than a gain of one but if we take a gain of one as an example here when when some light uh, comes out of the projector and hits the screen at a particular point, it might be hitting a point here and hitting a point there. The light from that point is diffused in every direction evenly because uh, it's got a gain of 1. Now if the viewer is standing over here the light from this point will be the same as the light coming from this point so we'll have an even brightness across the screen. That's what we want, it's the best quality, we, you know, it's the quality of the screen that we want, that's what we want to see on the screen. Now unfortunately due to the limitations of uh, 3D and the, and the you know getting 3.5 foot lambits which is not very bright at all compared to 14 is quite difficult alone um, you know and because silver screens you know have to um, keep the polarizing effect and it's a part of a silver screen that it can, can uh, sustain the polarizing effect once it hits the wall and bounces off off a general typical off a typical white wall you would lose the polarizing effect so a sc silver screen allows you to keep the polarizing effect and also has a very high gain due to the fact that it's like it's a silver screen and I'd like to like the good way I like to, to describe a silver screen is it's like a mirror a mirror has a gain of infinity so when you take a picture of a mirror with a flash uh, when you look at the picture all the light is coming directly back from that flash and there's just a very that where that flash is is the hot, hot point is a very small single hot point of course if when the gain of the screen gets lower that becomes a big white blotch as a, you know or, or a hot spot on the, on the wall so this is how that sort of hot spot exists so there's a point here and there's a point there so the light coming out of the of the projector hits this point on the silver screen and the light bounces back uh, more light is bounced back to directly back towards where the light's coming from or, or off the angle as you can see here of the of how it of how it hits the screen so more light is bouncing back here and less light as we come to the sides so that's how we get more light coming back on a high gain screen because we're sacrificing the light it's not diffusing evenly uh, out in every direction it's it's um, coming it's more stronger coming back on the uh, at the angle or the adjacent angle from the light and therefore as you can see here light coming directly into the middle of the screen comes back and be the most bright here and will get less bright as the, the as the viewer sits off angle from the screen and if we're talking towards the edges of the screen and this is why we get our hot spot as you can see here if the viewer is sitting here is getting quite a bright light coming from here but it's getting less and less as uh, as you can see as the light goes over more of an angle the angle coming back off off here will be less and the light will get will drop off and that's why we see the hot spot because as we look towards the uh, edges of the screen there's less light bouncing back towards the viewer now this is the main problem with with silver screens and uh, it's why you know if you're doing 2D you don't really want to do uh, use silver screens because you're suffering a, a quality loss for no real real reason uh, you know you could use a, a normal uh, white screen and, and you wouldn't have this problem so that's the problem that's really revolves around the problem that the France have with silver screens and the quality of those screens now there is a way to try and uh, uh, help with this problem and that is the use of, use of a curved screen. 
So you can see the angle here is not not as uh, bad, and therefore the viewer gets a, a more likely to get a uh, an even brightness. It's still not as good as as a uh, a, a typical 2D flat screen or normal non-silver non screen but it is much better but obviously still the viewer sitting strictly in the middle here will have a much brighter screen than a viewer sitting uh, off center from the order of, the, of the projector and this brings us down to you know what's the best place to sit in an auditorium for watching 3D on a silver screen and what are the best shapes for auditoriums so we'll just have a look at some images I actually got from Harkness. Thank you very much, Harkness, for for this. And this, you know, gives you a good indication of you know what happens if you've got a a, a short cinema and a long cinema. Obviously, you can see here that on a short cinema, uh, the problem here is you get to the side here, the gain's getting very low. Uh, when we're struggling with a 3.5 foot lamp, it's just, it's just really getting quite bad, and it's a, not a very good experience. But if we go to a longer cinema, obviously, you know, uh, the experience is, is more likely to be acceptable uh, and uh, is, a, is a better quality uh, result for the viewers of silver, people watching 3D on silver screens. You also got to remember that, uh, that uh, you know, I'll just go to the next slide here, which shows you the actual, um, sorry about which which shows you the actual uh, light efficiency of each of the you know the most well known 3D systems used out there. Now, as you can see here, these are the silver screen systems, and you'll also notice that specifically this one is the best best light efficiency of them of all the 3D systems out there that's using a silver screen and that's a very popular system because of this light efficiency because a, a 3D films usually going you know the blockbuster going into the biggest auditoriums on the big screen so we're already pushing for the light levels at, even at 3.5 foot lambents which is a long way from 14 which is the standard uh, it's even with uh, this efficiency it's pretty hard to get the job done and if we have a look at uh, the idealistic where we want to see this going, for example, James Cameron demonstrated the what he wants to see, which is of course faster frame rates, but at 10 foot lambents. So if we knock out the silver screen systems, we're only left with these systems here. This system, uh, active glasses, can only really use one projector, and you can use two projectors with the Dolby, and also Panavision has a very similar system to this from my understanding but you can see here the percentage is quite low so it makes it much much harder to get these big auditoriums up to an acceptable light level for 3D so if France did ban silver screens it would be a bit of a problem I would say um, and cause a lot of uh, issues over there so let's see what happens with that but uh, as you can see here there's still a long way to go with 3D in the auditorium I actually think that uh, dual projector and 10 foot lambits is uh, is my um, crystal ball outlook for 3D in, in, a, in a very premium uh, viewing environment. It's basically how IMAX do it today. Uh, so yeah, very interesting developments, and that is why uh, you want to you know you know why 3D and silver screens are an issue in France, and why for example you should sit. Uh, as close to the center of a cinema as you can when you go to a 3D film with a silver screen and usually two-thirds of the way back and uh, obviously try to avoid watching a 3D film in a completely full cinema because you might be pushed out to those extremities which is, is which is a, not a very good uh, experience whatsoever so keep keep that in mind if you're just a, a buff of 3D films etc uh, of why your quality may vary depending on where you sit in the auditorium uh, and finally, um, that's about it I've got for this um, video. So I've hoped you enjoyed my information. And all I can really say is thanks for watching. Bye for now. This is James Gardner, the Cinetech Geek.